Hey guys, it's the Ice on here. Um, I have some kind of sad news to say. Um, I'm getting kicked out of my apartment. Um, basically what's going on is I didn't technically sign the official agreement to become a subleaser. So through some technical just difficulties, I wasn't officially a subleaser here. So management found out after um, one of my new roommates, or former new roommates, um, see, apparently this is an all, this is an all girls apartment, or is supposed to be, not a co-ed. And, uh, the one roommate that I'm gonna, that I was gonna be getting, her dad was, uh, uncomfortable with a guy living here, so he raised a bit of a stink at the office and, uh, pulled up the file, and it turns out that I didn't officially, uh, sign over the agreement. I just sent in an application, but because I didn't have a guarantor, it never got officially filed, and I was living here, not really illegally, but just I wasn't supposed to be here, even though I paid my rent on time throughout the three months. So, Ariopolis uh, and I went over and uh, discussed some possible living arrangements here, but I would have to put up about 930 bucks in order to get an apartment that wouldn't be by myself. I had to be living with three other guys. And on top of that, next month I'd have to pay them like 270 something, and it would just keep on going like that. So uh, because I don't have quite that much money saved up, um, I'm gonna have to be uh, vacating the premises soon. I'm just uh, gonna do a quick little vloggy vlog before I go, just to kind of give a little look around before I start uh, tearing stuff down. So uh, here's one final look at my very first apartment. Um, as you see, got my desktop there, there's a little card there with the number of the Enclave dude who kicked me out, handed me his card. He was real nice about it, and I kind of understood, you know, what if something happened to me and the Enclave would be responsible. There's my cell phone, so the big desktop monitor and the keyboard in the back, my laptop, and all this other stuff. Here's my uh, current goal board, I changed things up a bit. That's still the same, the I deliver. You know, 1337, worth the value to others and reward accordingly. Grateful owning the PB5 for 75. In relationship with a beautiful woman. And instead of owning the PRS, I'll be owning an Epiphone Wilshire with a bunch of uh, different mods. Like Seymour Duncan P Rails, Humbucker Set in White, uh, Shadow Kill Pot for the Master Volume. Two three way switches that will replace the, uh, one of the volumes and, uh, one, of, and uh, one of the tones and with a PRS master tone push-pull pot which I was kinda of dangling between doing like a uh, reverse polarity thing kinda of get like a Peter Green sound with a Grover mini rotor tuners if they don't already have Grovers I didn't really check and a Graftech tusk saddle nut and stop tail piece um, I was thinking about getting a Dunlop strap locks but I think that might be a bit excessive and if it's not then I'll just get them whatever and of course, they weigh 180 pounds, which is kind of bullshit right now. And uh, the Chrome Sparks one, which before I listed down a bunch of other uh, people, but for now, I am the main producer, singer, songwriter, and instrumentalist for my band Chrome Sparks. Um, yeah, that's kind of taking a hiatus right now because of the whole getting kicked out thing. Here is my thing of food. Has all my food and mail and stuff. There's my jar of money and uh, my Nintendo DS. Mints, PC. Uh, there's my funky clock. That looks all weird. It's actually 7-Eleven, despite what you know the changes might say. VCR. Yeah, I know. I'm living in the 90s. TV, fridge. My nice full-size bed, which I will never get to sleep on again ever. Unfortunately, big fluffy pillow, which you can see now. It's actually like a purplish color. It looks black, but it's actually purple. There's Mom's tiger painting. Thing of Ray Ainami. Thing of uh, Saber from Fate Stay Night. And there's my faded mirror door closet. I'm so sad that I'm going to be leaving it. I'm actually trying not to cry right now, really. And uh, there's my handicap shower, where I switched over to a uh, bar soap instead of the. Uh, like body wash, trash, toilet, 
towels and TP and stuff. There's my mirror. Uh, and bottles of water. So yeah, I better start get packing. Um, basically what I'm going to be doing is kind of chilling over at Areopolis's for a bit while I make some phone calls and try to get myself uh, my own apartment. Um, legally this time, I'm not going to go through, you know, a bullshit thing. So, um, yeah. Uh, note to self, it's not that I'm saying not to trust Craigslist or anything like that, but uh, just, you know, try to be reasonable about things. So, um, yeah. This is Andy Son, signing off. Um, I hope you guys are having a better day than I am. Uh, I don't really view this as a bad thing. I just view this as kind of a, a changing of pace. Ironically enough, in the local paper, I was just browsing around the horoscopes because I was kind of bored at work yesterday. And I found that uh, alternate living arrangements are in my future. It would definitely break me out of my depression and all that other fun stuff. So, I don't know if it's broken me out of my depression, but it's definitely uh, changed things up a little bit. Not necessarily for the better, though, but whatever. So, anyway, this is the Andy Son for the last time in my apartment. I'm doing my last vlog de vlog here. And I uh, hope you guys are having a, a better day than I am. And I hope to see you soon, hopefully from my uh, new apartment. So, bye-bye for now. Stay hungry, stay foolish.